Hello, welcome to my channel. My name's Amanda and I love crafting, shopping, decor and makeovers. Thanks for tuning in. Here we are, part four of the DIY dollhouse kit tea shop. Um, if you've been watching part one, part two and part three, you'll know that I've got most of the basics done and the windows and the ca side counters and the shelf and the plants outside. Today we're going to get the fixtures and fittings done. So this cupboard, um, I actually ended up um, sanding it because it had some bits on it, uh, which then took the paint off. So I had to do a quid of a paint repair job. So I got a similar looking colour um, and then just painted that over, left it to dry um, and you wouldn't know anything could happen to it. As an aside, if you did want to um, change the colour of your cupboards, that's something you could do to personalise your own dollhouse kit. Now I need to make the sink and the worktop, which is quite simple. There was just um, a piece to pull out and sand the sides. And then there was um, silver paper that had the shapes backed on. So that was nice and easy and the worktop. Um, and then some cardboard pieces to make the sink. So then it was just a case of cutting it all out and gluing it together so nice simple and easy so i'll just let you watch Once that's all been glued together, um, I did put some handles on the doors, which were just the little bits of the black tubing cut up and glued on. And there was a little uh, baseboard sort of look to go on the bottom as well, which gives it that extra look of um, cupboards. And that just slots in there really nicely. So now we need to get on with making all the little bits and pieces. So to go on the shelves, I've got a couple of packets of tea to cut out and to glue together and then a cold tea teapot to assemble just with some bits and pieces like plastic buttons and some colour to go inside and some um, metal lids and some little beads um, and then something for the handle. So it's all tiny little things which I shall manage to glue together and then they will go on the shelf. Next step is to assemble those little bits of wire and beads into a tap. So I just wound the metal round paintbrush there just to get that uh, tap shape. And then it's just a case of gluing the top bead on and then gluing another one on the bottom. And then there's a tiny little bit to um, glue together to make the turn on and off lever and it's so simple as I say doing these little kits does inspire me for my dollhouse because I'd have definitely probably gone far more elaborate on a tap but I think that looks fantastic um, so that's definitely a good idea for a tap. A couple of more hardware pieces for the worktop um, so there's a hot tea urn there that's just got to be assembled again nice super simple idea just a piece of um, paper rolled round into a cylinder and then just putting a lid on the top that's definitely a good idea um, for kitchen uh, items so I sh I'd probably use that in my dollhouse maybe with you know buttons or just some kind of um, bottle top or something like that um, so that's a simple idea and that and the little um, black wire is very handy there for making things look more realistic
Now, the coffee pot, again, just some beads and plastic and then some little um, coloured bits to go inside and the wire. I think that looks great. Um, that could also be made with um, similar items, I think. And then the big one, the coffee machine. I'm definitely going to use this as inspiration for my own dollhouse. If it was, if it fitted, actually, I may even use it in my own dollhouse, but I suspect it might be a bit small. So I'm going to have to make something similar. And then a cute little um, pot to go on there uh, and some other bits and pieces. And it's all coming together now for the worktop utensils and machinery. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, please consider doing so. Uh, give me a like, drop me a comment, because I do love to hear from you. So, until next week, um, take care. Bye-bye.